the Woylie, as it's known in, in Western Australia, um, is the only wild remaining population of the brush-tailed betong. Originally, they had a range of a lot of southwest, south central, and southeastern Australia. It's, it's thought they were the most common marsupial in in that space. So it's really important to get these uh, these wild and these uh, really genetic diverse animals from West Australia to uh, supplement what we've got here in South Australia, whether that be on offshore islands or now here in Dilbergrunda in this national park. Rewilding gives us an opportunity to reset the clock, if you like. And in parts of Australia, it may be 100, 150, 200 years that these species have been missing. It's like you know, a jigsaw puzzle with key pieces taken out of it. For Mata Bungara, we were looking at you know, what are really important species that have important ecological functions. And the brush-tailed betong is a great example of that, great example of an ecosystem engineer. These are what I like to call constant gardeners. They are constantly digging and scratching and turning over the leaf litter and the soil. They play an incredible role. It's said that just one of these little animals will move over four tonnes of soil and leaf litter each year. For me, it's about the country. So they've got a purpose on country. They've got a purpose here. You know, same as every other animal, bird, uh, uh, reptile, they've got a purpose and that's to look after country. So them being reintroduced here augurs better for a healthy country.